withstands 10,000 PSI. I think it's like 10 gallons a minute. <clears throat> Anyways, you'll need that piece, a grinder, some oil, and a wrench. And I think what's best is a vise. Doesn't matter what vice, but a vice usually helps, especially if you're by yourself in the field. <clears throat> First, we're going to do, we're going to cut the hose. That's where I've got the hole there. So I'm going to cut it below the hole, of course. I'm going to make a flat cut with the grinder. You don't want it to be at an angle. You want it to be as flat as possible and as clean cut as possible. And I'll tell you why in just a second. So here we go. So that's what the end of the hose will look like. This is a double steel wire braid. This will fit a double steel wire braid. It's a little harder to put on, but it will fit. Most hoses are single wire braids. But so the next thing we do after we got a nice, pretty smooth, pretty flat cut there, is we're gonna put oil on it. You wanna oil the inside of this, and you wanna oil that. It really helps with that oil. It's pretty tough. I'm using 10W30, but any oil really will work. Gear oil, 3-in-1, all that will work. I've got oil inside of there. And I've got oil on my hose. All right, when we go to apply this, keep it in your vise pretty tight. And you're going to want to just get everything inside of there, every bit of that hose inside of the uh, thread, and spin it counterclockwise, not righty-tighty but counterclockwise. You know, you're used to righty tighty lefty loosey. This is gonna go counterclockwise down and you wanna go about, I would say, half an inch to three quarters of an inch depth when you go down it. And I'll tell you why in a second. So we'll put that on now. Our base piece on there, it's about three quarters of an inch in. The depth wise it's probably about right there okay now once we have that in there we've turned it counterclockwise you're going to want to push down on that as you spin it or it's pretty much not just going to thread itself you got to really push on it all right so we're now we're going to want to oil a little more in there and then also going to oil this piece here they come in two different sizes you've got the female which this is kind of a uh, swivel end they've also got a male end that's a 3 8 male NPT uh, I've got both they're both the same as far as putting it in there but with the hydraulic fitting you're gonna need something to adapt from here to your pressure washer fitting but we'll go ahead and put this in and we'll go from there you're going to want to push in before you get it started is, is with a pretty good amount of force and you're going to go righty tighty with this one just like you're screwing in a screw it's your regular once the thread catches you'll notice it'll start pulling itself